Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, I'm going to take you through Aussie Yen and show you the key levels to watch out for going into this trading week. Now, we featured Aussie Yen in the week ahead analysis. Um, I'm just going to go through it in a little bit more detail here just because uh, I think this market could see some slight downside this week if the risk off sentiment uh, continues to remain in the market now. The reason why the risk off sentiment might be there is because of the tensions between uh, Ukraine and Russia uh, have been escalating recently with the US and now the UK coming out saying that it is very likely um, that Russia are to invade Ukraine. Um, obviously things can change very dramatically um, with these type of headlines uh, so we have to be a little bit careful when trading the markets um, and choosing the markets to try due to um, the volatility that could be created um, because of this type of situation. Um, so we have to be a little bit careful. That's why I'm pointing out a couple of key levels just to be aware of. Um, now the levels that I've got here are quite significant. So uh, ignoring sort of 80, 40, uh, 8 down there. If we look at sort of last week's price action, I've highlighted uh, two uh, or three really good areas of support and resistance. Now there's a very good support down here at 81, at 62. What I've been doing is looking at the volumes within last week's price action and there was a very high volume level uh, down in at this 81, uh, 62 area where you can see there was a little bit of consolidation before moving to the upside. So price has found some buyers back in at this position again. Um, trend is still looking more towards the bearish side of things. Market is making lower lows and lower highs. Um, but last week's point of control, and what I mean by point of control is last week's most traded level was 82.92, okay? So that level up there is significant, not only because it was the most traded level last week, but it was also the area where price really started to um, sort of turn around. It's the sort of the, uh, the beginning of the supply zone. The end of it is all the way around about 83.25. So what I'm really looking for is for price to climb back up into this level. Uh, and if price is to get to this level, okay, then I want to be looking for potential short selling opportunities uh, back towards this crucial level at 81.62. So um, the, the way we can look at trading that position potentially um, is a number of different ways. So the first way would probably be um, looking at price action on the four hour time frame, especially if you don't have uh, much time to trade the markets. If price came into this level, rejected it, formed a, a bearish close, you can look for opportunities to the downside. Alternatively, what you can look for is a lower time frame move. So I've we'll also expand this out, going into sort of uh, the 15 minute or the five minute time frame. What I'd be looking for is consolidative patterns at this point. So if price climbed into 82.92, um, started to then consolidate, break to the downside, that would be a very good opportunity to start seeing those sellers come back in. Very much like what we had here, price was climbing very slowly, we break out quite aggressively, but we take out multiple uh, lows in here. So that would be an aggressive sort of selling opportunity below those lows. So that's what I'd be looking for if price was to get back to uh, this key level. So keep an eye on Aussie Yen, more detailed key levels to watch. Hope you enjoyed this video update. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to watch some more of our Forex trading content. And I'll speak to you in the next video. Thank you.